Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in front of you are four little cabs, there's a square, a teardrop, a rectangle and your classic oval. Bit round but still an oval. Of this pink stone. And this pink stone is Aussie Pink Opal. So this is mined in WA, Western Australia. And it's near the Kennedy Range National Park in the Gascoigne region. I'll pop up a little, little map. So you can see exactly where it is in terms of the world and Australia itself. And as far as I can tell, it was first discovered in about 2011. Up until then, the only pink opal that they thought existed in the world was from Peru. This was found and they thought, oh, look at that. It's, a, it's actually a form of mookite, a variant of mookite and it's a pink opalized radiolarite. It's fairly hard, fairly brittle. I've got some pieces that have some pretty big chunks out of it and it can chip pretty easily. So this is in the higher end of opals which pushes all the way up to about a six on the hardness scale. So because of that hardness though, you can get a really nice polish. Of course, this is the bottom flat side. It's always hard to get a polish there. But if we have a look at the surface, you can see that it does get a really nice shine. And I reckon these have a little way to go. I reckon these ones can be shined a bit more. I haven't actually cut these ones. They came like this. So I'm going to actually have a go at just roughing them up again and then recutting. Because I reckon these can take a much better shine than this. I reckon this has been shined up to about 3000 grit. This one seems to have the best, best polish out of the lot. And yeah, you can see that they're not a very consistent colour. There's a lot of banding and stuff in them, which looks quite cool. And you'd be right in saying that these could easily get confused with the Peruvian, the Peru pink opal. Here's a chunk of it here. This one's got a fair bit of inclusions. I couldn't find a really clean piece, but you can see here that it's, it's probably a slightly deeper pink. The camera struggles with the pink a bit, but it is a slightly deeper pink in the Peru, Peru opal, I reckon. Now it's not the best example. Whereas these, they do have a little bit of a milky, milkier, creamier colour. But you can also get some really vibrant pink ones. So these aren't the best examples when it comes to pink. They do have pretty cool patterns in them though. But yeah, this is just a quick look, quick look at this material. Like I said, this is a pink opalized radiolarite. While the Peruvian one is more of a silicified paligorskite. So it's a little bit of a different different makeup and a bif bit of a different stone. But as you can see, they can look quite similar if you ignore the inclusions. But yeah, that's a quick quick look at the Australian pink opal. So the Peru opal is not the only pink opal out there in the world. And I'll be using some of this stuff just because of the shape and the hardness of it. I'm going to use some of this to make some cool little wire wrap designs. Just because I've got so many weird different shapes. And there was one of these pieces in the... Not one of these ones, but there was a piece of pink opal in the giveaway. So if you haven't entered that, definitely go check it out. I'll put a link somewhere up here. Somewhere up in the top corner. So go quickly put your name in for that because it's not going to last much longer. I'll probably only have it open for another week. So get on it. Get on it quick. But yeah, I'll move on now. I reckon I'm going to carve a, carve a bit of opal next. I actually want to go back and visit some Indonesian wood opal. I haven't done that for a long time on the channel, so I'm going to go do that. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stick around and it'll be up in a few days. Catch you later. 